What's up, Airsofters? Welcome back to Steve O's Bricorama and Airsoft. Today I got the M132 micro gun here, and I have 3D printed this flash hider. Pretty cool. Uh, this is just kind of stuck on here right now, it's not permanent. So I got some other 3D printed stuff here, pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys so you can check it out. But I'll just pop this off real quick here and show you guys. Let me set this down. So here it is. And basically just a can for the front with some holes in it. And I can print these out in a bunch of different colors. You know, we can do black, of course. But uh, I wanted to do something a little different. So I went with the green. It is still a little rough, like I say. It needs to be kind of, uh, you know, fit and finished a little bit. And the holes were slightly off. They need to be sanded down just a hair. But this will work. Goes on there. This could be glued on if you wanted to. Okay, it will sit flush. The holes do need you know the holes need a little bit of trimming and sanding, but it will sit flush against this plate here. Um, you could drill like two holes. This is just a plastic plate. You know you can drill through this and put a screw through here. This ain't that's not going to hurt anything. Okay, just be careful. You know. Whenever you're using power tools, be careful, guys. Okay? But, yeah. I had to show you guys this. I thought this was awesome. Um, I think I'm going to print one up in, like, a silver. And then black, of course. The silver will look sort of like a, a weathered uh, aluminum or, or steel, I guess. But it's not, it's not on there very good right this second. But I'll show you guys. Maybe I can get, like, a front view. Okay, now on to some other stuff here. Okay, this is a 3D printed standalone handle for your M203 grenade launcher. And you can, this one was uh, designed for a slightly different model. That's why you see this gap in here. Uh, all I need to do is just kind of file down a little bit uh, for this model anyway. This is a King King Arms, the mini grenade launcher. Okay, so this like this one's perfect for you know carrying along as your little boomstick, <laughs> so to speak. So I got that printed up. Uh, this is the test model in the, just the red. That was just to make sure everything fit and it came out good and okay. And then I got one printed over here in the green. So this one is just printed. I got to glue this one together. It does come in two pieces. That's how it prints out. Flat like that. Then you peel it up and glue the two pieces together. And we got over here, I printed up a couple. This is a little flash hider that I saw. Thought it was pretty cool. Um, and then a guy at the field here, one of the refs, I showed this to him and he said, print it up in green and I'll use it. And I said, okay, well, I'll give that a try. So I got this printed up, and I've got these other little adapters here. These are 14 millimeter clockwise, so if anything happens with a problem with this, all we'd have to do is like nip this off here, and we can push one of these little adapters in there, glue it in, screw it on the gun, make sure it's lined up right, glue it, and then we're good to go. And that should look good on there. That'll be pretty cool. Now, just the one last thing here. This will be a quick video. I'm about to run out of battery. <laughs> uh, this was the prototype grenade. And what you do here is you take your 40 millimeter grenade shell. Let me adjust you here for a second. Make sure this camera's not going to fall. Okay, so I print up this tube, which broke the first time I threw it. Yeah, well, I kind of expected it to fail, so. But, let me open this up. So we take our 40 millimeter grenade. We push it in this tube. Okay, and then we screw our cap on like that. Now inside the cap is the little button, the little trigger. Okay, and that what that does is hits the bottom of here, 
and that makes it fire. So basically you have to drop the grenade on the bottom, something like that. Well, you can see how this little guy right here, that's probably, I mean, that's going to be hard to trigger this thing. This is what it was on here, but, of course, this broke. I knew it was going to break, and when, even, when I printed it out, even, even, even though this is a 100% solid piece of plastic, that's obviously a failure point, I knew it was going to break. So, I already thought of a solution, which is just drill right through the whole thing, you know, I'm going to get something to reinforce this, make a better trigger, and... There we go. Hopefully we'll have some sort of prototype reusable grenade here where, you know, you just use a little bit of green gas every time, fill it up, drop it, pop. It did go off the first time I used it. I threw it in the room. If you watched the, uh, my first video with my 45 Extreme, uh, I threw this in the doorway. It hit the wall. It popped. But when it hit the ground, it broke. You know, which I was more than expecting it to, honestly. You know, so I think I'm going to do this again. Uh, it takes so long to 3D print, like 12 hours or something. I'm just going to go with some PVC and kind of work this on my own and try and make this work, guys, because I think this is a really good idea. You don't have to shoot BBs. All you have to do is make noise, pop. Everybody in the room's dead, or within five feet is dead. And then you can even refill it on the field right there. If you got your little green gas or something like that, just poof, fill it up, throw it again. Go grab it, fill it up, throw it again. So you could do like a little, uh, you know, hot potato, like zombies in space land. Fill it up, throw it in the room, boom. Go grab it, fill it up, throw it out the door, boom. Just keep hot potato in it. Have a couple guys with you shooting. So, anyways, I'm going to make this work whether it's going to be 3d printed or not like i say i'm probably going to go with some pvc be a lot more durable and i can glue it together and all that kind of stuff so well that's it guys for now uh, i just wanted to get some of this 3d printed stuff here out of the way show you guys stand alone i'm going to be bringing this to the game today getting all packed up and ready right now after this video I'm going to be heading out so if you guys are going to be there we'll see you on the field and hopefully we won't see you on the other end of this. My boomstick. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to get going. I've got mags to fill, bags to pack, and batteries to charge, all that kind of stuff. So, if you're going to be out there, we'll see you at Motor City. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. And if you guys want me to print you one of these up, I can print you one of these. Um, you know, contact me. We can go over colors. If you want something fancy or if you just want black, that's fine. These can be worked and sanded down. You can cut these out if you want and make slots. You know, they have just the, the slotted version or whatever. So if you wanted to do any kind of work like that, or, you know, extra money, I'll do it. But I can print those up for you. Give me a call or contact me via YouTube or um, my email address on there, everythingconcrete34 at Yahoo. And we'll talk about uh, getting one of those made for you if you're interested. All right, good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the field, guys.